Have you ever listened to Michael Jackson's song, Behind the Mask? Is it a favorite of yours? Have you delved into the story behind the song? If not, that's exactly what I'll be exploring in this video. Let's dive in. We will pick up from the Michael Jackson Timeline, 1985 video. If you haven't watched it, the link can be found in the description below. Greg Fillingaines, 1984. Gregory Arthur Fillingaines, born in Detroit, is an American keyboardist, singer, and arranger. Known as a session musician, Fillingaines has made significant contributions to a wide range of albums across various artists and genres. He has performed on tours with Stevie Wonder, Eric Clapton, David Gilmour, and Toto. Notably, he served as the music director for Michael Jackson and has launched two solo studio albums during his musical career. In 1984, the artist's second album, Pulse ALP, included the track, Behind the Mask. Co-written by Michael Jackson, Chris Mostel, and Ryuichi Sakamoto, this single, accompanied by a music video released in 1985 on Planet Records, peaked at number 77 on the Billboard Dance Club charts. Now let's take it back, how did Greg get his hands on Behind the Mask? Michael Jackson, 1982. During the creation of the iconic album Thriller, Jackson recorded a demo of the song, Behind the Mask. Even though the song was not originally written by Jackson, he put his own spin on it by adding some lyrics and a melody to the existing track, all with the consent of Ryuichi Sakamoto. He made it into a love song about a woman. It was a completely different premise to me. But hey, I let him have that one, said Mostel. The song was excluded from the Thriller album as the three men, along with the other members of the Yellow Magic Orchestra, could not reach a consensus on how to divide the royalties. Consequently, the concept was abandoned, potentially resulting in Ryu's departure from the group. Now let's take it back further, how did Michael Jackson get his hands on Behind the Mask? Quincy Jones, 1981. On a trip while out in Japan, Quincy Jones caught wind of the song, fell in love with it, and brought it to Jackson's attention, thinking it would be a great fit on the Thriller LP. Michael agreed, add more music and lyrics to the song, changing it from a techno-classic rhythm to a dank funk-style song. According to Chris Mostel, when Michael got a hold of the song, he made it into a love song about a woman. It was completely different story or meaning of the original song, but it was Michael Jackson, so he threw his hands up and let Mike be Mike. As Mostel recalls, he was willing to split royalties three ways, but the management of the Yellow Magic Orchestra did not like the move and was the song was eventually taken off the thriller table. So who or what is the Yellow Magic Orchestra and what did they have to do with Behind the Mask? 1978-1979 Yellow Magic Orchestra, a prominent Japanese electropop group from the late 1970s, was a trailblazer in electronic music. Formed in Tokyo in 1978 by Haruomi Hozono, Yukihiro Takahashi, and Ryuichi Sakamoto, they utilized synthesizers, sequencers, and drum machines ahead of their time. The group is widely recognized for their influence and innovation in popular electronic music. One of their songs, Behind the Mask, originally composed by Sakamoto for a Seiko Quartz Watch commercial, was re-recorded in 1979 with English lyrics by British poet Chris Mostel. Sakamoto sang the song using a vocoder, and it was included in their album, Solid State Survivor, leading them to win the 1980 Japan Record Award for Best Album. Who exactly is Chris Mostel? Christopher John Mostel, a British artist based in Tokyo, Japan, and New York, wears many creative hats as a lyricist, poet, author, composer, vocalist, and illustrator. He is renowned for his collaborations with various musicians and artists, notably his work with Yellow Magic Orchestra and poet Shantaro Tanakawa. His innovative interactive audiovisual album Equation blends visual music with his scientific background, while his Oracles of Distraction project combines poetic cards with musical elements, showcasing his diverse lyrical style. Known as Moz, he has penned lyrics for Michael Jackson, Sarah Brightman, and Boy George, with his work also covered by Eric Clapton, among others. Let's talk about Eric Clapton and rewind to the beginning and then leap ahead to 1986. Eric Clapton included a cover of the song on his 1986 album August. The introduction to the song came through Greg Fillingaines, who presented it to Clapton after becoming part of Clapton's backing band, contributing on keyboards and background vocals. 
Although Jackson was not acknowledged as a co-writer for Clapton's rendition of Behind the Mask, Mosdell verified that Jackson's estate received 50% of the songwriting royalties. Speaking of 1986. The originator, Ryuichi Sakamoto. After Yellow Magic Orchestra disbanded in 1983, Ryuichi Sakamoto collaborated with Michael Jackson to remake Behind the Mask in 1986, featuring lead vocals by Bernard Fowler. This collaboration was reminiscent of their performance during Sakamoto's Media Bond Live tour the year before. In 1987, a CD single containing three tracks and a CD maxi single with six tracks, titled Behind the Mask Plus Three, was released. Speaking of the Yellow Magic Orchestra. The Human League, 1993. The Human League, an English synth-pop band established in Sheffield, England in 1977, began as an experimental electronic group. They inked a deal with Virgin Records in 1979 and achieved significant commercial success with their third album, Dare, in 1981, following a lineup reorganization. After gaining confidence over the years, the band started sharing demos with other record labels. In 1993, they collaborated with the renowned Japanese electropop band Yellow Magic Orchestra YMO, resulting in the release of the EP YMO vs. The Human League. This EP, primarily launched in Japan and Asia in April 1993, features cover versions of YMO tracks, Behind the Mask, and Kimi and I Mun Kyun, I Love You, showcasing the vocals of Sully and Catherall. Now that we're all caught up with the history of Behind the Mask, let's wrap this thing up with Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's LP, Michael, 2010. In 2010, the album Michael was his first posthumous release to feature the demo track, Behind the Mask, remixed by John McClane. This remix, which includes a saxophone solo, background vocals by Shanice, and crowd noise from the 1992 TV special Live in Bucharest, The Dangerous Tour, was launched on February 21, 2011, by Epic Records as the third single from Michael LP. The song was distributed to music stores and as a limited 7-inch vinyl for Record Store Day on April 12. Additionally, a music video titled The Behind the Mask Project was created using footage contributed by fans. And lastly, Thriller 40th Anniversary, 2022. The Thriller 40 LP features the initial demo of Michael Jackson's track, Behind the Mask. In contrast to the extensively remixed rendition found on the Michael LP, this version stays truer to the original composition with minimal alterations and incorporates more content from the original demo tape. I hope you enjoyed this trip down Michael Jackson memory lane and learned something new about this wonderful track called, Behind the Mask. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching.